Hey. Tunisia were drawn in a group with Cameroon, Chad and Guinea in their first round of qualifying. As I said, they went 6-0. Very comfortable indeed. Cameroon finishing in second spot. Chad finishing in third. As I said, we'll see Chad up against Egypt later. It was uh, Guinea who weren't able to make it through to the second round. As for uh, Morocco, they scraped through by the skin of their teeth in third spot in Group C. They were in a group with Angola. Egypt and the Democratic Republic of Congo. And Angola won it, Egypt came second, Morocco third. So before we get underway, we will pause for the national anthems. So national anthems are complete. We are just uh, a minute or so away from getting underway here. The coaching staff will just exchange pleasantries and then we can get started. As I say, we've already had uh, one game in Group E today. Angola getting the better of Cameroon, 83 points to 76. The referees for us today, Trudobin Leslie, Mbai Se and uh, Elias Kuneles overseeing proceedings for us. But Moroccan basketball is on the up, you'd say, enjoying a big run of success since the end of last year, really. The uh, North African nation's A.S. Saleh won the 2017 FIBA Africa Club Championship. And then uh, Morocco recovered from a, a poor start in the 2019 World Cup qualifiers in November last year. They uh, won just one in their first three games. So then book a spot in the final round of qualification. They beat Angola and the De Democratic Republic of Congo, but they lost uh, their final game to host Egypt. Saeed El Bouzidi is the head coach for Morocco. Has been widely credited with uh, changing this side around, getting them playing some better stuff. I think he'd be worshipped in Morocco if he 
actually were able to uh, guide them through to a spot in the World Cup. Really would be some achievement if they could do it. Tunisia, well, they've got hugely experienced roster. And of course, they come into this qualifying period off the back of uh, winning Afro Basket in 2017. Getting the better of Nigeria in that final, 77 points to 65. So they're full of confidence. And the fact they're 6 and 0 as well at the moment only enhances that fact. Starting five for Tunisia, Romdan, Roll, Abada, Chanufi and uh, Mary. Certainly uh, Ben Romdan is a key player for them. He's averaging 10.8 points along with 6.5 rebounds as well in qualifying. So they'll be looking to try and keep him quiet, the Moroccan side. Abada as well is... Uh, not adverse to carrying the load on offense. He's averaging 14.7 points in qualifying, 3.8 assists as well. There's the Moroccan starting five, Chua Yurichi, Naja, Korudu and Larici. Listening into the team talk. Yeah, Larici is the man they'll be trying to get the ball into. And there is the ever experienced Mario Palma, the Portuguese coach. Actually, was coach of Angola in their first ever appearance at the Afro Basket back in 1980. He then won it in 1999, 2001, 2003, all with Angola. Coached them in the 2000 and 2004 Summer Olympics as well. So hugely experienced coach. And there is uh, Saeed Buzidi, who's uh, I've already mentioned. He's just done a wonderful job with this Moroccan side. Important that they start well here today. Up against it, certainly on paper. Tunisia coming into this one as favourites, but Morocco will fancy their chances. As I mentioned earlier, there's been uh, a lot of noise coming out of the Moroccan camp that they are confident. They believe that they can get the better of Tunisia here today. And that is absolutely the attitude that you need. You can see the size of uh, Mary there. Going to be crashing the boards for the Tunisians. So here we go then. Time for Morocco and Tunisia to get their second round of qualifying underway. It's the Tunisians who control the tip. Here is Abada. First three is on the way, in and out. Strong rebound, and now the uh, fast break up the other end. Goes all the way, is unable to get it, but the offensive rebound, and it's rejected immediately. And that is exactly what you want to see from the big man. That's good, though, from this Moroccan side, just pushing the tempo. Ran the floor quickly. Steps back, tries to bank it in. The first points of the game go to the Moroccans. 
And uh, Larici is the man with the bucket. And now they've got the steal. And now he's got to go coast to coast. Oh, my words. Mary once again with a massive rejection. <laughs> Two already for the big man. That is as good as you will see. Look at that. Here is Chua. Now Larici. Larici trying to weave a passage through. He's fouled and it'll be the first trip to the stripe today for Abdelali Larici. Only 25 years of age is Larici. Up short with the second. Well, it's caught. Well, Tunisia have only conceded 52.5 points a game on average in the first round. That's the best defensive record among all the teams in Africa. Thrown it away again. It's been a sluggish start, though, from this Tunisian side. And, well, Morocco will be a little frustrated. They haven't made more of it. Chua this time missing a pretty simple layup. Nice pass across the floor. The three goes up. Can't get it to go. a nice pass he's smothered though by two Tunisian defenders but is still able to make the two and Morocco have flown out the traps into a 5-0 lead here is Michael Roll giving him the three if they want it can't get it to go good strong rebound and now a chance to Launch the fast break again, but good transitional defense by the Tunisian side. Larici again with three red shirts all around him. Rebound by Ben Romdan. Here's Michael Roll. Roll throws the three. It's not going to count. Offensive foul called. And Morocco will get it again. Here is Larici. Oh, just about. Well, did well initially to prevent it going out of bounds and then prevented the backcourt violation, but in the end does throw it away. So Tunisia get possession back. Another foul. Been a reaction to turning it over. Aliu Ariachi. Here is Chanufi. Now Michael Roll again. Roll for three. Can't get this one to go. Good rebound again to win it back. The alley-oop goes up. Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. Larici to Corudo. It's been a really impressive start here by the Moroccans. Silence this home crowd. 
Another three on the way for Tunisia, and finally they get one to go. They needed that just to try and settle them down. See, so yeah, Chanufi is the man who knocks it down. And now they've got the steal and a chance to hammer another one home. And the big one-hander from Ben Romdan. So just like that, after a slow start, a couple of scrappy plays by the Moroccan side, and all of a sudden Tunisia back to within just two. And they've turned it over again here, Morocco. Another three on the way. Roll can't get it to go. Offensive rebound has eventually found its way into the hands of Michael Roll. Larici. Now Naja throws it up. Did really well, actually, not to step out of bounds. But here comes the fast break. Nice little pass. He's fouled. And we'll shoot two. Been a great start by that man. Makes them both, and we're all tied up, seven points each. Good response, this, from Tunisia after a slow start. They very nearly turn it over again there, Morocco. Here is Larici. Nice pass across the floor, Choa into the corner. At the open look, did Larici, decides to cut inside, throws it back outside, shot clock is down to three. Joe just throws one up, gets nowhere near. And now the fast break is on. And it's led by Chanufi, who can't get the roll. And good transitional defense by the two, uh, by the Moroccans, sorry, to get back. And here they come down the other end of the floor. Michael Roll grabs the defensive rebound. He's smothered, but does well to find a way out of it. Has a little word to the referee, as if to say, why wasn't that called? Foot was inside. That'll only be a two if it goes. And he does well to grab his own rebound. Mohamed's had it in. Nice pass. Again, just doesn't quite get the roll. Strong rebounds by uh, Najat. Oh, and the gap just opens up, and he misses a pretty straightforward layup. And now the fast break. Look out. Nice two. Really good finish by Hadi Den. And Tunisia have the lead for the first time in this one. Nine points to seven. Led the team in scoring in uh, Afrobasket last year. Did Mohamed Hadien with 13.8 uh, points a game. Again, gets into the lane. Throws up the two. Can't get it, but was fouled. Foul goes on Michael Roll and uh, Morocco head back to the foul line.
Here is Roll. Roll thought about throwing one up, instead decides against it. Now he might. No, passes it on. Good ball movement by this Tunisian side. The three goes up, can't get it to go. Defensive rebound. Here's Chua. Chua in the corner, throws up the three. Roll with the rebound this time. Here's Roll again, a little bounce pass. Last touch was off. A Moroccan, I believe, so uh, Tunisia will keep it. Still got 16 seconds left on the shot clock here, Tunisia. Just over three minutes to go in this first quarter. Nine points each. Here is Roll, nice pass and an easy two. Lovely little dish though, and uh, Hadi then couldn't miss. Michael Roll just beginning to pull a few strings out there. Three goes up, three goes down. And the first three knocked down by Hashad. I'm not sure whether the uh, Moroccan three that I thought was just made by Hashad has actually been called a two. As if it was a three, then Morocco should have the lead, 12-11. Scoreboard says 11 each. Certainly looked like a three. Can't get it to go. The rebound finds its way straight to La Ricci. She needs help, has to go all the way back. Here is Hashad, and a lovely pass, and the two-handed jam by Sufian Karodu. Here's Mehri, who's made two fantastic blocks already, Mehri, but he's thrown it away there. The alley-oop goes up. Didn't quite bring it in. Hashad might think about another attempt from distance. Hashad having to go himself. Difficult shot, no good. But Morocco win it back. Larici uh, throws it up. Mary with the rebounds. Here they come again. Nice bounce pass, but the foul goes on uh, Larici. So Roll checks out. Here is Newer. Newer again. Again, they're happy to give uh, Mary the three. Mary, uh, good penetration and is able to draw the foul. Foul goes on Korodu, who doesn't seem too happy with that one. Thought about the three, Mehri, but uh, in the end decided just to stick to what he knows.
So 45 seconds to go. Morocco with uh, one point advantage. Here is Choa. Now Hashad. Hashad throws up the three. Just came up short. They got in each other's way there. And Morocco have it straight back. Nice pass, but it was well read. Actually, in the end, it was uh, Slimani who could see what was coming. Still 10 seconds left on the shot clock here for the Moroccans. Here's Wilkins. Nice little feign. Oh, should have made the two, though. And good hustle by Mary, and uh, the last possession of this first quarter should belong to Tunisia. It's been nip and tuck this opening quarter. The three opens up. Just a little too much on it. Can't bring in the rebound. They've got one second to try and get the shot away from the half court. Can't get it to go, but it is Morocco who take a lead into the second quarter. It was a slow start by Tunisia. They began to grow into it as it went on. But at the end of the first, Morocco 13, Tunisia 12. Yeah, it's not just the men's basketball World Cup that's coming up, also the women's. As we take a look at the stats, both sides really struggling from beyond the arc, especially Tunisia, just one from nine. Want to try and improve that. But I think they'll be reasonably satisfied that after a pretty disappointing opening quarter, they do only find themselves one point back. Remember, we want you to get involved with us as well. Hashtag FIBAWC. Hashtag this is my house. And of course, make sure that you download the uh, FIBA Basketball World Cup app as well, which uh, tells you all the latest news and highlights and everything you could possibly need to know about this uh, Basketball World Cup. Not only the qualification period, but also uh, when it gets underway properly on the 31st of August next year. A year tomorrow, the uh, final will be taking place on the 15th of September. And of course, it's in eight different venues as well in uh, China. And I'm sure they'll put on uh, a really good show as well. Well, goes on Chua, I think. Here is Mary. That's the option behind him if he wants it, he does. Turns down the three. Good defense so far by Morocco. Again, forced them out. The shot clock's down to three. The three goes up from way downtown. That's a really good defensive possession from this Moroccan side. Oh, what a pass! And what a finish by Mohamed Choa. It was uh, Gurari who threw it up. And Choa threw it down.
Again, the shot clock is counting down. It's another good defensive possession. Tries to throw it away, but that is two shot clock violations in two possessions. Need to try and start using the ball better here, Tunisia. And it's important now for Morocco to take advantage of all these rather lackadaisical possessions that Tunisia are having. Moves it out to the corner. Chua drives to the baseline, throws it back outside. Now the shot clock's down to three for Morocco. Throws it up from miles out. Can't get it to go, but a good offensive rebound. And Morocco will get a second opportunity. Oh, it's a really simple miss there. It's a let off for Tunisia. Throws it back outside, open three. Can't get it to go, Mary was fouled. Mario Palmer will be overly pleased with what he's seen from his side so far. As I said, after the end of the uh, first quarter, I think the only saving grace is that they're only, well, three points down now. Could have been worse. Here is Mary. Brook, but uh, draws the foul. So Chua called again. Now a completely uncontested three is good. And finally they get one to go, Tunisia. And the scores are all tied up. And Morocco have done pretty well to protect that perimeter so far. Can't get the two, defensive rebounds. An opportunity for Tunisia to try and take the lead. And they do. And that gets the crowd going. Morocco have done a good job of quieting this uh, home crowd so far. It's a really nice pass and just about gets the roll. He had the rather imposing figure of Mary bowing down on him. Still managed to get it around him. Here he goes again, Mary. Mary is fouled. It did look like a travel. Thought it was going to be uh, a turnover there. Morocco only have, uh, sorry, don't have any more fouls to give. With still six minutes, 37 seconds left to go in this second quarter, which isn't great news for them.
Dimitri have been pretty good from the stripes so far. Five from six, leading by two, 19 points to 17. Nice feign, but again, they've missed some pretty simple layups so far of Morocco. Got in some good positions. They've created some nice looks, but again, it's not even touching the rim on the way down, which is a little concerning. So Morocco in the penalty, so there's going to be a lot of pretty easy opportunities here for Tunisia over the next six minutes from the foul line. The second to go. Here is Larici. Larici needs some help, has to go back outside. It's nice to take the three in the end. Looks good, just uh, can't get it. Tunisia will get it back. For the two point lead, 19 points to 17. Still got Egypt against Chad to come later on. Starts in about two hours' time. It's a couple of, uh, sorry, there's one Group F match currently underway. Senegal against Rwanda. Senegal leading 48 points to 36 in that one. Throws the three from miles out. Can't get anywhere near it. I think they need to stop those kind of looks. It's a good two meters or so beyond the arc there and still have plenty of time on the shot clock deciding to throw up the really long three. Mabruk does well to pick up the loose ball. Tries to feed it back into Mary. There's uh, Newcastle on the floor. Not entirely sure who uh, got down to it. I think he was Morocco. Good hustle by uh, Abu Salam. Plays his basketball in France, does uh, Abu Salam, the 22 year old for Rouen Metropole. Very much just. Uh, a bit part player, really, both in qualifying and in Afro Basket last year as well. Doesn't get too many minutes. Here is Larici. Now Hashad. Again, defending the perimeter well are the Tunisian. Shot clock is down to three. Throws up a really difficult shot. Offensive rebound, though, did well to keep that alive. And we'll head to the line and shoot two. So an opportunity to try and level this one up. Hadi then called on his second foul. Tunisia still have plenty of fouls to give here in this second quarter with uh, just under five minutes to go. Both sides have struggled though on the offensive end so far. 
13 points to 12. Morocco led it up to the first quarter, just uh, seven points to four for Tunisia in the second. It's their three-point shot that uh, both sides are struggling with. Morocco are yet to register one. And uh, Tunisia shooting at just 15% from the outside. So both sides struggling with their outside shot. Makes them both from the line, though. And again, we're all tied up. This is good, though, from Morocco. Exactly what they would have wanted just to settle them down into this one, playing in Tunisia against a side that they've not had great results against uh, in recent history. And they've turned it over. Michael Roll throwing the ball out of bounds. Abdelali Larici was uh, saying in his press conference before this game started, though, that every game they play is basically like a final for them. He said losing to Tunisia and Angola so many times in the past has made us stronger. And uh, that's why we're really looking forward to the second round. Nothing is impossible for us as a team. The atmosphere within our team is like a united family. And this has been the key. They certainly don't look overawed by the occasion so far. Here is Larici, that man. The three from a long way out, can't get it to go. Still yet to register a three-point shot in this game so far. Here is Chanufi. Oh, wonderful pass inside and just about gets the roll. Excuse the pun as Michael Roll knocks it down. Well, Morocco raced out to a 7-0 lead. Tunisia's biggest lead is just two points. And I think he's been called on the travel there. And we'll turn it over. So an opportunity for Tunisia to uh, extend their advantage here. Just uh, apologising that. 33 years of age now. There's uh, Abderim Najer. He's been around for a while. Averaging 9.2 rebounds a game. So he's really important on that area of the floor for uh, Tunisia. But again, because they're in the penalty, it just gives the... Uh, for Morocco, I should say, just gives the Tunisians an opportunity to try and extend. And this is the first. Just about gets the second. So the lead is four. Tries to make it one, can't get it to go. Another three-point attempt that uh, just misses. Here is Roll. Mary, nice pass inside. Here's El Mabruk. El Mabruk for three, it's good. And Tunisia just beginning to find their feet out here. And all of a sudden, the lead is up to seven. We've got just over two and a half to go in this first half. Morocco have done really well to stay in touch. It's going to be an important last two and a half minutes for this Moroccan side. Tunisia will be hoping to try and pull away from them now. Try and make it a double-digit game.
This is the three we've just seen from Mabruk. Was part of that uh, for a basket gold winning side last year. We've got a timeout called by the Moroccans. Yeah, it's been a good couple of minutes from the African champions, Tunisia. And what's been a, a pretty cagey, pretty nip and tuck first half, but certainly just in the last few minutes, Tunisia have uh, began to assert themselves. That's another pretty simple miss, but does well to grab his own rebound. Marici. Here is Ben Rondan. We haven't seen too much of Ben Rondan so far, just two points, two rebounds. Not happy about the call at all. Abdelali Larici. Lucky he didn't pick up uh, the technical there. Certainly had quite a lot to say to the referee, did uh, Abdelali Larici be another trip to the line and uh, quite rightly and wisely his teammate Sofian Korodu just telling him to calm down and just leave it because he is going to wind himself into even more trouble and again this time it's uh, Mohamed Choa who is just telling him to go away So Larici checks out of the game. Mary's put up uh, some good minutes so far. Six points, five rebounds for the big man. And again, gets the roll with the second, extends the lead to seven once more. Just over two minutes to go in this second quarter. Here is Hashad. No Korodu. Hashad again. Trying to go to work underneath. Difficult shot with the right hand jump hook. Eventually it's brought in by Mary. Does well and awful hands by Michael Roll after Mary did so well to actually get the defensive rebound. Michael Roll will be. Disappointed that he just let that one go straight through his hands. And gifts possession straight back to Morocco. Plays in the Israeli league at the moment as Michael Roll for a Maccabi Tel Aviv. And a completely open three. And he'll be disappointed that he didn't get closer there. Again, good hustle from Mary to win possession back here for Tunisia. Now El Mabruk had the extra pass if he wanted it, the sides against it, throws up the three, but the offensive rebound, El Mabruk brings it under control. 21 rebounds each, so nothing really separating them in that department. El Mabruk, good uh, suffocation from this uh, Moroccan defence. The three is thrown up off target, and eventually, well, I was going to say Morocco can bring it clear, but they've turned it straight back over. El Mabruk again. Nice pass. Throws it up easy too. That's a nice play from the Tunisians. 
Morocco just need to look after the ball a bit better. This lead is growing. It's up to nine now. And there's, what have we got, 18 seconds or so between the shot and the game clock. It's four against two as Michael Roll puts in the layup, fouled, and one. And a chance for a three-point play for Michael Roll. And all of a sudden, this second quarter is really getting away from this Moroccan side. It's a needless foul, it really is. Here is uh, Karim Gourari, who just stuck an arm out. Not entirely sure what he was thinking there, the 29-year-old. Should know better than that. And now it's an 11-point lead. The chance to make it 12, with 28 seconds still to play in this uh, second quarter. And he does just that. 33 points to 21. Hashad. Oh, get out of here, says Mary again. It's another big block from him. Good work, though, on the offensive glass, and they do in the end get there too there's two seconds I don't know why Elmer Brook is hanging on to it just needs to throw it down the floor can't get it to go but it's a much better second quarter from Tunisia in the end they were made to work hard for it but they do have a little bit of daylight now at the halftime break Morocco 21 Tunisia 33 I think the score graphic was wrong. It is 23 points to 33 rather than 21 points to 33 with Morocco just getting that bucket right at the end of the second. Here it's uh, the stats. You can see Tunisia shooting it well from two-point range up at 73%, but Morocco just cannot buy an outside shot. They are yet to register one from three-point range so far. Rebounds pretty similar. Both sides turning the ball over eight and nine times respectively. But to Morocco getting into a bit of foul trouble, which they need to try and uh, do a little bit better in this second half. But after a slow start, Tunisia will be pretty happy. They take a double-digit lead into the second half. I'll leave you with the highlights. Make sure you're back in 10 minutes' time when the second half will get underway. It's Morocco 23, Tunisia 33.
So welcome back, everybody. The first game of the second round of the African qualification campaign. All roads leading to China for the FIBA Basketball World Cup, which gets underway on the 31st of August next year. That's the date for your diary, running until the 15th of September. And here, Morocco taking on Tunisia. And, well, it was pretty close until the last couple of minutes of that second quarter, and Tunisia just stepped it up a gear. And uh, in the end, they lead by 10, 23 points to 33. But I think Morocco will be a little disheartened with just how quickly that second quarter did get away from them. Outscored 21 points to 10 in the second after uh, leading by one after the first. We've already had uh, one game in Group E today. That uh, saw Angola get the better of Cameroon, 83 points to 76. And we've still got one more to bring you as well later on. That starts in about 90 minutes' time. Egypt taking on Chad is the uh, next game. There's more games tomorrow as well. With some good performances from Tunisia. They've uh, shared the load well. Likes of uh, Chanoufi's got seven. Mary's got seven with six rebounds. He's been good, the big man. El Mabrouk, he's got uh, six points, including a nice uh, three-pointer. Michael Roll's got five points, five rebounds. So, yeah, they're sharing the uh, the scoring load well. What will the second half bring? So Tunisia leading the way in Group E at the moment with uh, all the games that's already been played in the first rounds. Points being brought forward. Let's just listen in. Always great that we can listen in to the, uh, the team talks. Mario Palmer, Portuguese, speaking in English, though. They had incredible success with uh, Angola, though, did Mario Palmer. Winning gold at Afrobasket 1999 in uh, Luanda. 2001 in Casablanca, 2003 in uh, Alexandria, 2005 in Algiers. And of course then winning with Tunisia last year. And he'll be uh, keen to make sure that there's no complacency now heading into the second half after a good end to the first half. Can they start off where they left off? Here is El Mabrouk. Morocco will be desperately hoping to try and find a, a three-pointer from somewhere just to try and spur them on because they've really struggled from the outside so far in this one. Still yet to register. Michael Roll, nice little shake and bake and makes the teardrop as well. Nice start from Michael Roll. He's up to seven points personal. And the lead is 12. Pass behind the back. Michael Roll immediately out to him. Shot clock is down to three. He's got to try and get the shot away. The little bounce pass, and yeah, they've 
It's gone over the 24 seconds. It's a good uh, defensive possession from the Tunisians, though. Here is Mary. So important to this side is uh, Salah Mary. Now Michael Roll. Nice play, tries to bank it in. Think he thought he was fouled. Grabs his own rebound, again goes up. And the last touch was in fact off the leg of uh, Ben Romdan, who's been really quiet, Ben Romdan, which Morocco will be fairly happy about. Salamiri, of course, who making his first national team appearance since uh, 2015. I would say they've missed him, but after winning Afro Basket without him, perhaps not as uh, the three is knocked down. And finally, they have a three point to Morocco. It's taken them 90 seconds into the third quarter to make their first. To try and respond with one of their own, which they do. And it's El Mabruk again, who's got six points, both of them. Uh, sorry, nine points. And all three of them are uh, from the outside. Nice shooting from El Mabruk. Offensive foul. Goes on Naja, who's uh, not happy at all with the call. The 33-year-old. So Morocco turn it over. The lead is still 12. Here is Roll again. Roll throws it back outside. Nice pass. Then Romdan throws up the long two. Can't get it to go. Off a defensive rebound by uh, Larici. Passes it outside, Larici drives, penetrates towards the lane, gets the roll. Nice play by Larici. He's up to 10 points personal. First man into double digits. Seven rebounds as well for Abdelali Larici. Been the key man for Morocco so far today. He's fouled. Won't go to the line though. Here is Roll, Roll out to the corner, nice pass, completely open, three is good. Great vision by Roll, and now the fast break down the other end, can't get it to go. The three was knocked down by Chanufi, by the way. And the lead is up to 13. And now the, uh, I'm not entirely sure what's just been said. Bit of a coming together here between uh, Larici and Salameri. I think there's only one winner in that fight. So the uh, coach has been called on the technical. So the, they make the free throw. They'll get possession back as well. Tunisia lead up to 14. It is growing.
Here is El Mabruk. Transitional defense. Hachette. Morocco again in the penalty with still over six minutes to go. Can't get the layup to go. And now the fast break in transition down the other end. I think uh, thought he was fouled right in front of the referee's nose. Doesn't get the decision. Now the three in the corner, open, knocks it down. Beautiful shot by uh, John Walter Wilkins. 29 years of age, son of the uh, former NBA player, Jeff Wilkins. Played for the uh, Utah Jazz, the San Antonio Spurs. Now Michael Roll for three, is good. Well, it's been a nice start from Tunisia in this third quarter, exactly what uh, Mario Palma would have wanted. Here is Roll again. Cuts inside, drives to the lane, just had it stripped out of his hands, and now the fast break is on. Nice pass! Oh, and he's missed the dunk, but fortunately he was bailed out, and they do indeed make the two in the end. Nearly made a hash of it, did Morocco. Here is Roll. El Mabruk, who shot the ball well from the outside so far today for Tunisia, is El Mabruk. Thought about the three, decided against it, drives, throws up the two, and gets it to go. Choa. Nice bounce pass, but. Uh, did well to steal it back, did Chanufi, and now it's three against one. Oh, he's missed the layup, should have made that. Bit of a let off for Morocco there, the lead stays at 14. Nice spin, gets it to go. Wanted the uh, foul as well, I think, didn't get it, Hashad. 47 points to 35, just about three and a half to go in this third quarter. Here is Roll, catch, shoot, make! Michael Roll knocks another one down and Tunisia are beginning to play. Roll up to 13. Defensive rebound can bring it away. Here is Roll, throws it back outside to El Mabruk, turns down the three, but instead drives into the lane and makes the layup. Good decision making by El Mabruk there. Could have taken the harder three instead, just bided his opportunity, waited for the gap to appear and made the nice layup. Timeout calls. 
with Tunisia leading 52 points to 35. Abada goes out, steps back, throws the two, air ball, defensive rebound by Slimani, throws the ball down to Floyd, did well to get back, good uh, transition by uh, Benchalika. Nice pass back outside, extra pass. Now Abado, he could have shot the three, decided against it, throws up the little teardrop, gets the roll. Nice touch from Abada and registers his first points of the game. Lead up to 19, is just growing and growing at the moment. Steal. Here's a barter again. Abada tried the little pass behind the back. Oh, he somehow found his man who makes the two. Thought he was fouled, Tadian. Not going to get the decision. Nicely done from Omar Abada, who's uh, leading the team in scoring and qualifying is uh, Omar Abada, averaging 14.7 points coming into this one. It's another miss, Abada can bring it clear, it's uh, four against two at the moment, throws it outside. Nice pass out to the corner, great vision, open three, knocks it down. Well, that is certainly one thing that has separated these two is their outside shot today. Tunisia, they've not been uh, particularly great, but they've made a lot more than their opponents have. Here is Larici, shot clock down to three. Needs to try and get it away, but again, that suffocation defense from Tunisia. It's a shot clock violation. It's another turnover with 20 seconds to go in this third quarter. Here's Abada. Offensive foul is called, so the uh, final possession will go to Morocco in this third. Quite incredible how quickly, though, this game just got away from Morocco. All of a sudden, the lead up to 24. They were outscored 21 points to 10 in the second quarter. They've been outscored 26 points 
to 12 in the third. Manages to draw the foul. Marici at the line. 10 points, seven rebounds, three assists so far today for Larici. And that will be that for the third quarter. It's a quarter that Tunisia have just used to extend their lead. And you'd imagine it's an unassailable one. They lead by 23, Morocco 36, Tunisia 59 at the end of the third. Yeah, your reminder once more. I'm sure you don't need reminding. I'm sure you've already got it, but uh, the Basketball World Cup app is available to download and get all the latest news and everything you could possibly need. And again, get in touch with us, interact with us. Hashtag FIBA WC, hashtag this is my house. We want to hear from you, want to get your views. Who do you think is going to qualify from this African group. Tunisia certainly looking good at the moment, looking as though they're going to go 7-0. and So final quarter underway, Morocco to get us started. A reminder not to go too far away when this one finishes because in just over an hour, we will be bringing you Egypt against Chad in this sports hall as well. Oh, it's a lovely little play there. And again, they've missed some simple layups today though. Just need to take a little bit more care when they get into those positions. Nice pass underneath. Got two seconds to get it away. Just a little heavy handed was uh, Mokta Gayaza. Getting his first minutes of the day is uh, mocked up. 31 years of age. And they've turned it over again here, Morocco. Abada. Gayaza again, tried to throw it back outside, but uh, did well to get the steal in Morocco. And now an open three, looking to try and 
reduced the damage and knocks it down, Karim Gurari. Well, you never know how important goal difference could be come the end of this qualification campaign. So it's really important that they do keep going out here. Morocco, as they look to respond with the three of their own Tunisia guys, they just couldn't bring down the rebounds. It's the top two teams of each group that qualify through to the World Cup next year and also the best third place side as well. There's another three windows in this second round of qualification, September, which we're in now. There's also uh, games between November the 26th and December the 4th. And the final window, the sixth window of qualification is next year, February, between the 20th and the 28th of uh, February, the final window. And thereafter, we will know who will be heading to China. The three is thrown up, just a little too much on it. Defensive rebound, didn't realise that he had company though, although he's just thrown it straight back to Morocco. Has to try and go himself, he doesn't have too much support with him. Morocco will keep it. Yeah, just to let you know, if uh, come the end of that final window next February, if there are teams that are tied, then to determine who goes through, first of all, it's done on a win-loss record. Second of all, it's then looked at uh, the goal difference of games between those teams concerned. It's then the highest number of goals in the games between them. And then it goes to highest goal difference in all the games of the group. So there's uh, various permutations. Here is a Bada. But either way, it is important that uh, just if you are 20 down with seven minutes to go, like Morocco are, they've got to keep playing because they never know just how important the odd point could be here or there. Nice pass outside. I think his foot was just inside the line. It is just going to be a two. Knocks it down, though. Now Abada. Good ball movement. Decides to take on the long two. Grabs his own rebound, though. And Amuli waiting for it in the corner but decides against it about it with it again for Tunisia shot clock down to four it's been a good defensive possession so far from Morocco and eventually they get their reward and they can bring it forward with Hirorichi here is a Hirorichi again nicely done Yurichi just uh, beginning to come to the party. Only 19 years of age. He's studying in uh, McGill University in Montreal. Said he's been dreaming of playing in a World Cup since he was a kid. Actually played a lot more than uh, he was expecting to in their opening qualifying game all those months ago against Angola. As there was uh, a delay in the team's luggage arriving, they could only feature eight players in the end, uh, Morocco and Sami Al Yarichi, the 19-year-old, managed to get uh, a lot more minutes than I think he was initially anticipating, which was good for him. Well, 
Yeah, Tunisia just switching off a little bit. It's another two for the Moroccans. And all of a sudden, they're only back to within 15. Still five and a half minutes to go. Not giving up here, Morocco, which is good. They've outscored Tunisia nine points to one so far in this fourth quarter. Just one point registered in the opening five minutes from the African champions. May well just be an element of complacency. And uh, timeout is called. All of a sudden, there might just be a little bit more belief in the Moroccan camp right now. Well, quite rightly, Mario Palmer having a bit of a go at his side there. I think uh, he realises that his team has just switched off a little bit over the uh, course of the last five minutes and said anyone not playing defence, anyone not giving 100%, they'll be straight on the bench. Really making sure that his side finish this. Missed both free throws, but uh, they get second prize by getting the offensive rebound. Biggest lead has been 24 so far for Tunisia. It's back down to 15. Abada turns down to three. Shot clock is down to three. Needs to try and get it away. Throws it back outside. It's a shot clock violation. And it'll be another turnover for Tunisia. So another opportunity to eat into this lead. You just step out of bounds. No foul has been called. Foul goes on uh, Firas Layani. Pass inside, difficult shot, very nearly the and one, but he uh, will head to the line and shoot two. Only 23 years of age, Adam El Ghazi, averaging seven points, four rebounds in qualifying so far. Mary grabs uh, the rebounds. This is seven rebounds to go with his seven points that he's registered. El Mabruk, 
12 points personal. He's four for six from the field so far today is El Mabruk. Step back two is in and out. And a rebound and one by Makram Benramdan, who's been quiet today, Benramdan. That's only his uh, fourth point that he's got to go with his five rebounds, but a big time play. Just can't quite convert on the three-point. Aliarici. Long two goes up, and the long two goes down. A shot from uh, Adam El Ghazi. High court press being applied from this Moroccan team who are back to within 14. They're happy to give Mary the three. Thought about it, just three from 10 from the outside today, Morocco. Ben Romdan, nice pass out to the corner, open three. And the rebound brought in by Fulani. Fulani again thought about the three, instead gives it to Ayurici. El Ghazi, the little pass behind the back. They don't really want to be trying those tricks and flicks now. They are back in this game. Going to take something special, but still with three minutes to go, it can easily overturn a 14 point lead. Mary spinning, trying to work his way towards the hoop. Surrounded by two white shirts. Nicely done, though. Good work by uh, Ben Romdan. Six points for him now. Milani for three, just comes up short. Mary. With rebound number eight, although he's just had it stripped straight out of his hands. And he's there with another rejection, but he's called on the foul. Oh, he wasn't called on the foul. I thought that's what he called. Here is Roll. Ben Rom. Dan all tried to throw it up for Mary. He didn't even jump to get off the ground. He's that tall. Here is El Ghazi. Throws up another two. Air ball. Rebound by Michael Roll. Roll can bring it clear with just two minutes to go. Roll tried to throw it into him. Eventually found its way through. Took a little deflection on the way. Morocco, uh, by the way, will play again tomorrow and again on Sunday. As they throw it out to the corner, three seconds on the clock. The three, just a little too much on it. Yeah, so Morocco will play uh, Chad, uh, sorry, Chad on Sunday and Cameroon tomorrow. So Cameroon and Chad, the next couple of games for Morocco until uh, the next window in November, December. As for Tunisia. And they will play uh, Egypt tomorrow. And then Angola on Sunday. So that should be a really good one. Tunisia, Angola. And then they have uh, three more games to play in the November and December window. The last for the African sides. Plays in Lebanon, does uh, Macron Ben Romdan for uh, Beirut. Oh, 
So Ben Romdan checks out. 6.5 rebounds for uh, Ben Romdan today. Oh, Mabruk makes the uh, free throw for the technical that was called on to Mohamed Abu Salam, by the way. So Tunisia back in possession. And still with a 15-point advantage as we head into the final 60 seconds of this one. Turned it over. Last touch was off uh, Tunisia, so Morocco will get it. Aliorici. No Fulani. Adam El Ghazi. More than happy to give him the three. Decides against it. Aliorici may take it on. Throws it back outside. Aliorici tried just to step back and throw the long two. Last touch was off. Mokta Gayaza. So Morocco keep it with just three seconds left on the clock. The three is soft target by El Ghazi. And we've got about three seconds or so between the shot and the game clock. Michael Roll will just try and uh, take out most of these seconds. Yeah, they're pretty happy that that will be that. And there it is. Job done as far as Tunisia are concerned. They came into this game 6-0 with an unbeaten record in the first round of qualification. And they are still unbeaten after the first game of the second round. It's finished Morocco 50, Tunisia 65. Well, Tunisia, a dominant force in uh, African basketball at the moment. And, uh, well, they've pretty much sealed their spot in China already. Something drastic would have to go wrong over the course of the uh, next five games or so for them uh, not to qualify. It was a tight and cagey start. But uh, with a couple of minutes to go in that second quarter, Tunisia just began to pull away. In the third quarter, they were superb. And uh, even though they weren't quite at their best during the fourth, I think they realised that it was job done. And they get the win. So Tunisia go 7-0. and As for Morocco, well, things not going quite as well for them. They are really going to have to start performing and quick if they are to stand any chance. They go to 3-4 and four now. It's only Chad below them. Chad uh, get underway in 45 minutes' time against Egypt. And uh, Egypt are currently just above Morocco. Well, they were before that game. So uh, a win for Egypt. They can uh, put a little bit of daylight between them and Morocco and Chad beneath them. So a good opportunity for them. But, uh, well, Mario Palmer, he doesn't look too happy, but I'm sure deep down he will be. They did get uh, just a little complacent in that final quarter, but by then the job was done. I was going to say, let's take a look at the stats, but uh, that doesn't tell you much, does it? But Tunisia, just better in uh, every department today, really. It was a three-point uh, field goal percentage that really cost Morocco. They shot just 21% from three-point range, 30.7% for uh, Tunisia. Few more rebounds, five more assists for the Tunisians as well. Three blocks, all of them by yeah, Big Mary, who was fantastic. But they really got themselves into a bit of foul trouble as well. 27 fouls to uh, Tunisia's 14. So pretty much all the stats are in uh, Tunisia's favour. And yeah, they go 7-0 and in the group. Game leaders, well, Larici was fantastic for Morocco. He had 11.7 rebounds. Mabruk finished with 13 for Tunisia. 
Four steals each for Romdan and Gurari. Romdan was reasonably quiet today. Maybe saving himself for uh, the weekend. Larici Ghazi Gurari led the way for Morocco. Mabruk and uh, Roll and Chinufi all had 13 points for Tunisia. They uh, shed the offensive load pretty well, did uh, the Tunisian side. And all in all, a fairly stress-free game, a stress-free win, just what they wanted with uh, a busy weekend coming up with uh, all three games, of course, coming in the space of three days. So it's uh, a pretty stressful, a pretty tiring weekend ahead of them, but it started exactly how Tunisia would want. So I will leave you with the highlights from this one. Again, a reminder that uh, Egypt against Chad starts in 45 minutes time in this group. So join us for that one. And uh, also make sure you download the uh, FIBA Basketball World Cup app. That's available now to download. You can get all the latest news and uh, everything you could possibly desire on that app, not only for the qualification period, but also for the World Cup as well when it starts in uh, just under a year's time. But uh, here it is Tunisia who edged closer to China. It finished Morocco 50, Tunisia 65.